for it. He's asked for the replay. Umpire Kurtzins with John D. Rhodes underarm return. They're waiting for it now. With the naked eye, it looked to be very close. I would say out but with the naked eye. But let's see what the replay says. That's the delivery from De Villiers. John T. Rhodes, the fielder. And he goes. The green light says to Desmond Haynes that he has to go. Huge cheer from the crowd. A little suspense as the third umpire saw the replay as we did. So Desmond Haynes run out without scoring and the West Indies have lost their first wicket for 15. Breaking the old playing regulations. Rhodes, if he hits, he does and he's got him! As Arudin's run out and the brilliant Jonty Rhodes has struck again. Lost Armory in the previous over so they needed a little bit of consolidation and taking a chance uh, with John T. Rhodes certainly wasn't on and look at that brilliant piece of work Azaruddin well well shot after a quick and I think Boone is uh, well aware that he's in trouble out there the television replay has been called for. John T. Rhodes was coming around there like a little rocket. Let's have a look. He's in. There comes the ball, and the stumps are hit, and he's way, way out. Boone is gone. Oh, what a mess they're making. Oh, what a throw. What a throw. It had to be John T. Rhodes. Robin Singh was a pretty good fielder himself, completely stranded. He could have been a little... It sums up the frustration of the Indian batsmen. They're being penned down, no runs given to them. They're trying to sneak runs, shall I shan't to go, will I won't ya? And by the time he's made up his mind, John T. Rose has just fired away, knocked all the stumps out. Oh, a brilliant stop again. Oh, he hits the stumps, so that'll be a third umpire decision. For all, he might have just been taking a little easy once again. It's Jonty Rose. Stop it, well, he stopped it clearly because he's got to dive to his left quickly on his feet again. Dives at the stumps and lets it. Uh oh, I think he's out. In fact, I don't think. I know he is. Yes, he is. He's a long way down and just. He's out. I think he's hit the stumps. He's got to be gone. Now, what can we tell from here? Bales off, out. What a magnificent piece of fielding, and that's what makes John D. Rhodes so vital in the limited. Absolutely gorgeous player he is. Have to hurry. He's got him, I think straight to John T. Rhodes and call for the single. Lara knows he's gone. One stump at which to aim. Lara not even in the picture. And what a blow that is for South Africa. Lara run out, 131 for three. It's good running, but he's got to be quick. Oh, no. What brilliant fielding! Absolutely brilliant fielding from Rhodes. The innings all over in the 36th over. I beg your pardon, in the 42nd over. And this is how it finished. Pushed out on the offside. Wants to give his captain the strike. Rhodes, one-handed pickup, two strides. And, ah, oh, so far out. It's scary. Brilliant, brilliant fielding. What a mess. This Pakistan scorecard will look.
all out. Fend. Rhodes again, one more look at it. Pick up, throw. Which stump shall I hit? Well, let's make it the middle one. Quick single. That's always going to be dangerous. A direct hit, and umpire Dave Shepherd has called for the third umpire, Doug Cowie, to get involved. John T. Rhodes, I can't believe they looked for a single to John T. Rhodes. And you can always tell on the reaction of one of the two teams out there the batters they either uh, stand around and look quite comfortable the fielders get very excited in south africa i must say look quite excited good pick up by john t rhodes firing it in and some um shot at this point of time back not being dragged the, in the air yes uh, and Zamam not doing the basis i mean that you learn in school cricket third umpire has done his job so Inzamam has been given out and surprise surprise run out so Inzamam goes for four 118 for five and down it goes so he won't be feeling any any better for that umpire not interested Inzamam could be run out and Jonty Rhodes has demolished the stumps and umpire Bucknor has given him out the flying leap with Pike well, it was going to require some brilliant fielding or some brilliant work in the field and a better man you could not find than John T. Rhodes. Inzamam was hit on the pads. He was looking for the single and lumbered down the wicket. Imran was never interested. John T. Rhodes knew there was a chance, decided not to throw other than himself. He gets there first and wipes everything out. Umpire Steve Buckner, no hesitation, and that may well be the piece of fielding that South Africa needed. Pakistan 3 for 135. Well, there's the throw. There's the uh, moment where the two players collided. There's the stumps being hit. Ponting is a goner. 4 for 106. Rhodes was the throw.